Applied Media Arts class obviously is the advanced level of filmmaking. Um, at this point, all the students have been through my theory classes, which we pretty much study all different genres of film. When they get into the Applied class, they actually have the ability to create what it is they want. They know the different genres that they can work with. Uh, they hand in a project proposal to me, they form groups, and they go out and they shoot and edit their projects. All the projects that get put, uh, that are created from the Applied class, get put into our film festival that we have every single year. We have an annual film festival. Um, all the videos obviously go up on uh, YouTube, on our official YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of the students, what I try to do in the beginning of the year, especially with the seniors, is figure out who wants to go to film school and then start guiding the curriculum towards that. Um, so if they have videos they need to do for college, make sure that they're doing those. Uh, if they have um, portfolio from the years built up, all their video files, that goes on their own separate channel or we can direct them uh, on our Crespi channel where those videos are. So the students are actually using their videos that they're creating in the applied class to get them into top film schools. Right now I've got students at USC Film School, I've got students at the Art Institutes, I've um, got students at Brooks, we got students, um, last year we had one kid got a full ride to the Art Institute in Los Angeles. This year uh, we got a student that got into Chapman Dodge University Film School, which is one of the, again, one of the most elite schools out here. Um, so, I mean, truly, if you're a filmmaker and you're at Crispy, uh, you need to be here in the applied class because it's pretty much, if you're going to do the work, uh, you will get into the colleges of your choices. Um, if you do the hard work and you got the talent and you pretty much follow step by step what's needed from you. Well, uh, my experience here in this class has actually been pretty awesome. I've learned a lot of things I didn't even know, like even how to use a camera. I've been able to act in so many of my friends' films. It's, it's really awesome because you really do learn a lot. You get, you kind of get to know what it's like to be on an actual film set and how things actually work on a film set. And you know, I've also made my acting skills a lot better throughout the semesters of being in this class, and it's really been a great experience. Uh, this year, we decided to do really, really big projects and had a couple setbacks, but because because of how much freedom we get, we really get to do whatever we want with videos. And, in the end, we ended up coming around and making it, and it ended up being really good. It's becoming really success successful on uh, Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff. Everybody's looking at it and getting a lot of feedback. And I mean, really, to thank, we really have to thank Mr. Nahe because all the freedom that he gives us and the opportunity he gives us with all the equipment and everything, and really pushes us to, to go to our, our best, our, our full potential, and do the best that we can. Well, what I learned with VDR, uh we really learn how the industry works. It's a very fun class. We do a lot of stuff. We get to know people. We make a lot of friends in this class. I was in originally theory of media arts my freshman year, and our videos were not that high tech. They weren't look. They weren't that great of films. And but throughout the years, we've got better equipment, and we've all learned how to create better videos and such. It was pretty good. I mean, it was a pretty diverse class. There were a lot of different age groups and stuff. And everyone had an opportunity to either write a script, direct, or act, edit, you know, so it was pretty fun. I mean, I got a chance to edit and act and film each of them, so it was a pretty good experience. I recommend the class. I'm really good. Uh, very interesting. Mr. Nye is a great teacher. He's taught me a lot about the industry. Uh, also, it gave me a lot of tools because I haven't made too many films in this class. But uh, it gave me a lot of tools to make films outside of the class. I've been making a lot more films lately with friends. So it gave me a lot more courage to do that. Uh, I've learned definitely a lot of do's and don'ts in the, in the industry now, filmmaking. Well, I actually had a great experience in the class this year. I got to learn a lot of things, and it really helped my editing and my acting as well. And I got to learn from a lot of people who know a lot more about it than I do. Like, Eric Glody and Jose Bazan, and they were both a huge help in helping me learn more throughout the process, but I'm um, happy with what I put out and produced, and uh, I think I'd love to take the class again. It was a really good class as a whole. I mean, I want to be a movie editor, maybe a director, maybe even a writer when I'm older, and this class really let me use those skills, made me practice them, and made me polish them, and it really helped me out as in terms of being a better movie maker and I think that taking this class again next year would really help me out too as well and really make me a better filmmaker so in the long run once I get to college or as you know once I get a job doing movies this class really helped me out. I had a great experience in the applied media arts class. I, I took the theory of media arts class as a freshman and 
I was more of a behind the scenes kind of role in the applied in the arts class. I learned so much more because Ms. Janai is a great teacher and um, learning how to cry was on camera, using those emotions, it was hard at first, but I, I really advanced a lot as an actor and working in the industry was, it was really good. I recommend taking the class and I'm sure I'll take it again next year. So uh, I'm going to show you guys the media lab here. First, obviously, as you saw where I got interviewed, my uh, office. It's where all the critical thinking takes place. In here we have the equipment room, so everything that the uh, media arts facility has. Uh, we have it here from cameras to tripods to uh, our lighting and uh, wires and lots of wires. And uh, just swing around, we got a group here. They're in the middle of uh, pre-production, so they're writing their screenplay. Uh, we utilize our smart board so they all can focus in on what they're writing. Um, so they already know how to write screenplays. They're, this is the advanced class, so they've had many years of training on how to write professional Hollywood screenplays. In here, we have our recording studio. So we have advanced editing that takes place in here. Uh, we have our music scores that get placed in here. Um, anywhere that does kind of music or singing, that gets recorded here as well. And as you can see, we have instruments um, and our keyboards and all this stuff adds to our uh, scores that we do. In our final location, we have our editing bay. Uh, in the editing bay, this is where all the magic takes place in post-production, uh, where all the kids are actually taking all their uh, footage and editing. I have a group back here now, again, in the applied class, they're working on pre-production. Uh, they finished the scre their screenwriting, so now they're plotting out their camera shots and they're plotting out their wardrobe and their props and everything that they're doing now. And this is the end. So these guys, as I said, they're plotting out all their camera shots and everything um, for their screenplay that they'll be shooting this week. And uh, this will be in the film festival. And then we have all of our computers here um, that we use to write our scripts on and edit our programs on.